Hey, 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 everybody. Welcome back to Mommy So True YouTube channel. Thank you for watching my second video. I told y'all this channel is going to prevail no matter what. Because honestly, at the end of the day, I'm here for me. I'm here for y'all, but I'm here for me because this is my healing journey. It's been a lot, it's been a long time, it's been since my birth. This is way beyond a marriage or failed relationships. It's just about me healing entirely. And thank you for watching, welcome to my channel. Make sure you subscribe because I know there's so much information out there, you guys, about narcissist behavior and healing from narcissist abuse and healing from all kind of abuse. There's so much psychology and research and knowledge out there, which is really great. And, you know, use those resources. Listen to what these people are talking about because they're educating you. They're letting you know that you're not crazy. They're letting you know that what I'm telling you is not a lie about what I went through and the truth behind it. So let's utilize these resources. But at the end of the day, we have to put action into actually surviving and thriving through this because it takes a lot and you have to kind of have someone who really understands what you're going through these um other channels and other videos they're educational and they're very knowledgeable about what you're going through but a lot of them are not talking from experience a lot of them are not showing you what it's like to actually go through this a lot of them are not victims or haven't been a victim. So it's different. You know, I'm the victim. I've been a victim my entire life and I'm finally ready to help others and myself move on. So let's get right into the video, you guys. Again, like I said, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I have weekly videos about my situations with growing up through this type of abuse and most recently my marriage which has pushed me into really saying I am never gonna be a victim again so this video is basically titled how you know someone does not love you and I'm gonna try to refrain from saying how you know a man does not love you because narcissist people and abusive people can be women too and not can be there they are they are so and again it doesn't even have to be a love relationship that's abusing you this could be a parent this could be anybody in your life friends siblings so i'm just you know still going through getting over this marriage and this abuse that i just suffered and kind of piggybacking on my last video i'm going to talk to you guys about what's on my heart about this subject and basically you know the red flags even though i was talked to like this by this person um the insults were so serious i still kept going back because of that soul tie and that trauma bond and that, that's why i'm sharing these things because i'm trying to let you guys know it's so serious you can be a woman that's a lawyer with a bomb ass life going through this shit with a low down person that love bombed you and made you feel like you were deserving of them and then started ruining you as a person it just can be anybody going through this so i just want to point out that you're not alone and if this is you i just hope that this tells you and shows you that you can do it you need to leave this situation there's it's not okay for a woman or a man to be spoken to in a crazy manner, in a wicked manner, you know, being told, I hope you die, go die, go kill yourself. That stuff is serious because a lot of us trauma survivors, we take these words very seriously. And a lot of us are already in depression. A lot of us are already suffering from anxiety. So to hear things like that could push you to actually killing yourself. You know, recently I saw on social media, a nurse, um, I don't know if she was drunk, not drunk, but she was upset about clearly a toxic man that she was in love with. And 
She ran a red light and killed six innocent people trying to kill herself and she didn't even die. This is how traumatic being with toxic people is. And um, just my going through my healing, I've had to go through these messages because I want to program it in my mind that I would be a fool to go back to this person. <laughs> like I would be, everything I'd be telling you guys on this video would be so pointless if I was to ever go back to this guy after reading these messages and just like the insults, like it, it, the insults are with intent to harm and dehumanize you. Like, a narcissist insults you because they want you to feel less than the person. Like, they want you to feel less than who you are. And um, I know his insults used to leave me feeling angry, frustrated, the need to defend myself. Then I, then I would get enraged and start saying bad things to him. Start saying things to him that I probably didn't mean. But when somebody is insulting you and saying the worst things to you and cursing you and cursing your life and it just doesn't feel good you know what i'm saying like that shit can literally put you in a deep depression and i realized as time went on in my marriage i was more and more depressed because every time he would get mad he would say the worst shit and then when he apologized here i am having to reprogram my mind like okay he loves me and he insults me but he's sorry do you know how draining that fucking cycle is? Like, mm. so in a healthy relationship, you can joke around and insult each other in a jokingly way. That's way different. That type of energy is way different. I'm not saying we gotta be all serious and you can't joke with me and throw out, you know, funny jokes and make fun of little things like that. That's in a way that's okay and it should be healthy, but it should not be in a way where you're making me feel like, damn, I wanna go jump off a bridge. Like, like, the nigga always pointing out how fat you are or telling you how you don't look like his exes and he can still get his exes if he wants to. You know, comments like that. It just fucks with your self-esteem as a man or a woman. One thing you got to learn is that narcissists don't have certain principles of life. One of those principles when it comes to a man dealing with a woman is that he don't have knowledge about a woman and what a woman is and what a woman desires or how a woman takes in words. First of all, a real man should know that women, we experience words. That's why we like compliments. That's why we like being spoken to well. That's why when you say stuff to us, it gets us in a certain mood, you know? That's a woman. We, we cling on to what you say to us. So for a man to say they love you and then destroy you with their words, how can that be love? For a man to say you're everything they want, they love you so much, they're sorry that sometimes they say the worst things to you, but they still do it <laughs> over and over and over and over. How can that, where's the love in that? Are you saying those type of things to this person? Are you constantly making them feel ugly inside and out? Because if you're not, then clearly only one person loves in this relationship and it's not them. It's not them. I had to realize too that I definitely grew up in a bullying type of environment because I, I do reflect back and be like, damn, how did I end up here? How did I? And although I know the answers, I know I've been going through my healing for a couple, a few years now. And it's like, I've been listening to all these videos. I've been, I've gone to therapy about a lot of things. I've dealt with a lot of things. So how the hell did I still walk into this fucking marriage at this point? I had to realize, damn, the seriousness of the trauma is so real. This shit is so powerful. It's, it's so spiritual and it takes heartbreak to really break your soul and make you realize, oh shit, this is not normal. You know, growing up, the school that I went to, I got used to the type of guys in my school, you know, the type, the way that they used to talk to the girls to get our attention. It was toxic, but that's what we accepted. The kind of girl that wasn't getting a certain type of love from home 
that type of attention started feeling good or started feeling acceptable. I'm saying that to tell y'all, these little incidents from childhood and teenage life have made me think that the bullying type of love and the, the, negative, the negative talk from a man was sexy and attractive. Like, imagine just being programmed into that type of life and into that world. So, you know, in the beginning stages of my marriage, I knew, like, damn, I'm being talked to kind of crazy. Is this what I'm about to live with? Like, I knew it was wrong, but again, because I didn't want to fail in the marriage and I didn't want to give up on him, I was accepting it and that was so dumb. So dumb because I had to I had to live through the pain of having to forgive myself for allowing all this shit. <laughs> Unfortunately, I live in this crazy society where love, marriage, relationships is just so front frowned upon and talked down on and not really valued like it used to be. And and I also live in a society where now mental disorders and mental health is addressed. So the things that our grandparents might have dealt with in marriages and relationships, now we're educated about it. So we we know better. You know, um, a man who says things to make you feel horrible about yourself and finds ways to leave you feeling suicidal and fearful for your life and and then turn around and apologize to you and make you think that you might be crazy for wanting to leave him or cussing him out that is not love it's not love there that's not love someone who loves you is going to uplift you with encouraging words they're going to motivate you you know they're not going to be happy with you one day with good words and then the next day telling you how much they want you dead and how much you don't mean shit to them. You know, they're not gonna tell you every other month how much they love you and can't live without you. It's manipulation. Someone who really loves you will give you consistent love, consistent affirmation, consistent reassurance. That's healthy love. You're not gonna cuss me out, make me feel like shit, apologize for it. Do it again, do it again, do it again. And then I'm still sitting here thinking this is love. Come on, y'all. We have got, we have got to gain some type of self-awareness and self-control because these people don't love us and they show it to us in messages. And when we're so blind in the love in the moment, we ignore it. But you shouldn't, because the more you ignore it and the more you accept these sorries the worse it's gonna get next time. Next time, instead of saying, I'ma fuck your friend, he's actually gonna fuck your friend. I'm just gonna make my own plans and have a backup plan because I know you're a cheater. He's really gonna have a backup plan and he's actually gonna cheat. And he's actually gonna probably have kids on you. I'm telling you this because this is my real life story. They know how to insult you. They know how to bring you down and then they know how to bring you up because they know how to bring you right back down and that's their intention. These people are here to just break you or use you. That's their main intent. That's why I call them the devil. They are the devil. They are the devil. Another aspect to this new age and this new society is because most people are so toxic and trauma driven, women are conditioned to accept being mistreated, being used, being abused, being talked down to, taking insults, putting up with narcissist men. And it's very sickening. It's like, why are we stooping so low? There's so many great men and women out here settling for people who don't value them, who don't love them, talk to them any kind of way. And it's, it's, it's fucked up, it's fucked up. But let me go ahead and get into these messages, y'all.
you guys get where this is going? This is not love at all. At this point of my walking away and healing from this crazy, fucked up marriage relationship, I've deleted a lot of the messages that I was hanging on to. So moral of the story is, it has been clear since day one that this person did not love me. The way he spoke to me, the insults, granted, yeah, I can say I, I was programmed to receiving it and accepting it and thinking that it was okay. Of course, we didn't start our relationship like that. He started being like this after marrying him. So for me, it's just the fact that I tried to hang on because I am programmed to toxic language and accepting being taught too crazy. I mean, I grew up in a household where insults were okay. It was okay to call your daughter stupid. It was okay to call your daughter slow. It was okay to call your daughter fat and um, not apologize or validate any emotions afterwards. So, you know, I understand now that being taught to correctly is so important as a woman and we got to do better men and women out there we got to do better we cannot allow people to talk to us crazy if they talk to you crazy they don't fucking love you it's just that simple again it's mommy so true you guys make sure you subscribe to my channel tune in i have great videos posted every week and like i said i am not perfect I'm just here like you guys are going through some shit that nobody really wants to talk about, but I'm talking about it and I'm talking about it as as the person who is still going through it and coming out of it, not not the psychologist or the doctor who knows it all. So again, subscribe, like, comment, share your experience. Tell me some of the things that somebody has told you after telling you they love you. Some of the fucked up things they opened their mouth to say to you that affected you mentally. You know, a lot of these words are draining and they do take us to some fucked up places. So tell me, you know, your experience and um, stay tuned for more.